Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in this video, we'll actually be talking about uh, uh, automated framework, use it for pen testing uh, Android apps, um, which I use regularly as well. And it's basically called as Drozer, right? So this is uh, where you will find it. Um, this is the link, right? And where you can find it, you can find the user guide. You can uh, you can see the various versions, the latest versions. The user guide basically tells you how to install, how to exploit, and so on, right? So let me uh, take you through the steps. I mean, I've already installed Drozer on my laptop. It's basically a uh, like you can see here. Uh, it's a Python build. So um, I've already installed Drozer, right? So I will take you through some of the basic things, right? So let me run Drozer. So this is my folder where I have everything related to Drozer, right? So let me run. If I run the command Drozer, I'll end up getting the various commands which are supported on it, right? So these are the ones. Um, also, there is this. Uh, the whole Drozer framework works on a server client model, right? So you have a server on your, um, you know, attacking machine. In my case, Santoku machine, and you need to also have an app, right, on the device right on your Android device so what I'll do is I'm going to install this app how do I install this adb install and this is the app right so I already have the app here. it's a client it's basically a client let me take this and let me install so I've installed the client and this is the client right? this is how it looks great so once we have that how do you you know turn on the whole uh, uh, how do you like switch on the whole browser framework right uh, so there are three commands for doing that I've already put all the three commands in a small script right so let me show you what the script looks like so this is the these are the three commands so I need to forward my TCP port right first thing second thing is I need to call the activity manager to uh, start the service the browser service the client on my Android device and the third thing is I then need to connect the client to the server right so these are the three commands right which you will have to run I have put all these three commands in a small script so now I can just you know start the script and my browser would start right so this is the whole you know symbol which you get when you start right so once I'm here what do I do next um, what are the various tools which are available in browser I can list them by using ls and you will start seeing all the tools these are all the tools which are available right like for example app.activityinfo it gives you information about the exported activities and so on so these are the automated tools which are present inside Drozer, right? So now let's look at probably the app which we earlier installed in the previous video, which is the Catch app, right? So um, how do you find the package name of the Catch app, right? So what you could do is you could run uh, uh, app dot package dot list, right? So that's one of the command over here because you would then end up getting the list of the packages. So when I run that, you can see the packages, you know, being listed one after the other. right it's still going on there are a lot of packages yeah so here you can have the catch app I can already see my catch app uh, being listed still going on there's a lot of more okay so here you go this is my catch app which is com dot three banana dot notes right so that's basically my way package name so once you obtain the package name what do you want to do you would want to know if you can attack this particular right uh, uh, yeah so you would want to know if you can attack so what would I use the next tool which I would use is app.package.attack surface right so I would basically run uh, app.package.attack surface attack surface and I need to give the name of the package which I just now obtained from uh, here no, sorry What's that? so I obtained the package name from here let me take this let me put it down here there you go so when I run that I get information as to are there any vulnerable content providers or services or activities or broadcast receivers right so let me run this again to show you on the top right so you can see the information being listed Currently, you can see there are zero content providers exported and that basically goes back to what we discussed last time, right? 
so the content providers uh, you know were accessible only from the root of the android device and they were not accessible for anywhere from outside so they are not vulnerable right but this is how you would actually do right so if you want to list the content providers what would i do i would probably run uh, uh, probably this particular tool again right so it's going to be run app provider dot find uri and then the name of the package again so when i do that i again let's get a list of all the content providers there you go right now if you remember this was the content provider which we were trying to tweak or we were trying to access last time let's see if we can access it now right so let me clear this screen and how would i do it i'll have to run uh, app dot provider dot query so this is another tool right query and then the name of the uh, content provider right and probably i'm also going to give a um, parameter so you can see the per permission denial the reason why the permission is denied is because this content provider uh, you know is being accessed by the drawser app and not by the not by the catch app right so only if the catch the catch app has a user id and only if that user id is accessing or the uh, accessing this particular content provider only then it will you know uh, it will display the results or it would uh, you know the authentication would go through but since we are using it from browser and browser is a different client app and right? it has a different user id since we are trying to access this content provider from a different uh, you know app this particular query will not go through and we are getting a permission denial request which means basically the catch app is not vulnerable to content provider leaking great so um, uh, so that was basically how you would install content providers and so on uh, how would you install i mean my bad how would you install browser and uh, in the next video we will actually look into one particular um, vulnerable app and how you know we would exploit that vulnerable app using browser right so do tune in and uh, see you guys